Hello there. It's time to cover, I believe, maybe the fourth or no fifth national final on my channel. Uh, I'm kind of going through these pretty fast uh, because there's a lot of songs stacking up now, um, really, from, from all different parts of Europe. Uh, I've been recommended from so many uh, lovely and helpful comments that I should probably get around to checking out the songs that will be competing in uh, the Estonian national final. Uh, which will happen, I think, in February at some point, because they actually have the whole like lineup for the final uh, done and set, and it's just to get through 12 songs, which is kind of a lot. I don't think I've done a national final so far with 12 songs. That's a lot to get through, uh, but we'll do it. Uh, I'll do my best to just really get through all of these and uh, give you as, as uh, detailed of my uh, opinions uh, in a review kind of manner as possible. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. It's just, I'm fumbling on my words. Regardless, um, the song that I will listen to right now, today, in this video, is called Tuyu by Milik. And this is, of course, one of the songs that have qualified for their final. So uh, let's listen to it. Uh, I, I absolutely love how awkward this is. <laughs> that was so much fun. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm completely sold on like the melodic side of things in this song. It's not really um, all that incredible to me in, in that sense. But um, this is so much fun. I think that's the main thing. They, they really just have the right approach for what this song is all about. Because it's a very kind of monotonous and repetitive song. I still like the sound design of it. I think the instrumentation is really strong. It's It's very kind of reminiscent of bands like I mentioned, like Tudor Cinema Club and San Cisco and, you know, just music within this genre. Um, it's really nicely put together in that way, but I don't think they have that much of a melodic impact or maybe um, just a hook in that sense. It's just kind of done with the right approach for what the song is all about, because the song is, is at its core, not too overly impressive, in my opinion, melodically, uh, I think mainly... Um, but there's like a nice variation to it, but I think what really sells it is the fact that it's so awkwardly delivered. Um, and I, there's still like a nice progression in the structure of this song. I think uh, each section kind of offers something new. It, there are times in this song where I feel like we're getting way too repetitive now. Uh, and that, that could absolutely become a drag when you listen to it a few more times. Uh, but on the first listen, I really think like everything offers a bit of a charm to, to what the whole package is here. And I like that the way of ending the song where you kind of bring back that section that I'm a bit tired of in the in the song with the constant repetition of do you know what I mean uh, when you actually um, like um, what do you call it elevate like lift the octave a bit higher um, or lift an octave higher in the vocal delivery for this final chorus that gives this kind of really repetitive section a new uh, tone to it and a new flavor while also incorporating it into a new section of the song where you have this instrumental going actually uh, being fulfilled because otherwise it's been restrained at previous parts in the bridges of the song. So that's a nice touch. Tie everything together. You, there's like You feel like there was actually a purpose of each section leading up to the final part of the song, which is always just really pleasant and fulfilling to, to feel in a song. Um, and I think... Like, I wouldn't really write home all that much about it um, songwriting-wise because I don't really think... Like, the production doesn't uh, wow me. Um, the melodic side of things isn't really too interesting to me. I don't think there's a very memorable hook to it. But the instrumental sounds pleasant, and I love the delivery of it mainly. I, I want them to be just like they are in the music video on stage as well. I think this the whole <laughs> concept of... Uh, of them being so, like, what do you call it, like, um, without facial expressions throughout the song. And I like that little section as well where the camera is being shown from above and they turn around and look up at it and, <laughs> and just completely blank in the face still. Um, just funny moments like that. I really want them to incorporate that when I see it live as well because I think it's a, it's a really fun listening experience. I'm not sure if I would prefer them to send something like this. I mean... The, the selection might have some absolutely incredible songs, I don't know. But this would be fun to see in Eurovision, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, we have 11 more songs to listen to, so maybe there's something that I would like more uh, in the remaining songs. But I, I'm i pleasantly uh, into this selection so far. It was a great start, um, and, uh, and I quite like this. I had a lot of fun listening to it. So, uh, um, yeah, that was To You by Melik, or Melik. 
Um, and uh, next up, we'll listen to the second song, which uh, I don't know what it is yet, but we'll find out. Until then, take care and bye-bye. <laughs>